Hey guys, this is the DMX Show and I'm your host Shane and today I wanted to show you guys how to prepare your phone for the official over the air update <clears throat> that's coming from Verizon uh, the 13th of this month. That's actually this Friday just in a few days. Um, you'll have to either be on stock 2.3.340 or you will have to be on this new gingerbread .595 that Team Black Hat has released. And I just want to show you guys how to get there. Um, if you're on Froyo and you're on some sort of ROM, you're obviously going to have to SBF your phone back to stock in order to receive the over-the-air update. If you're on any of the gingerbread ROMs, uh, you're going to have to be on this .595 uh, stock ROM that came from Team Black Hat. So, uh, we'll jump right into this. Um, any of the builds that you're on, uh, 5.571, 588, .591, uh, will not be able to accept the over-the-air update. Uh, so if you're on Gingerbread, you're going to have to flash that .595 file in order to receive that over-the-air upgrade. Um, personally, I'm not going to install or accept the over-the-air upgrade until I know that there's a way to root it. I'm sure that Team Black Hat, P3 Droid, and all the developers will find a way to get it rooted if Gingerbreak will not root it, which I have a feeling that it might. Um, but for now, you know, you see here that I'm on Apex 2.0.0, uh, so you can flash this from a custom ROM. Um, if you flash this new build from a custom ROM, you're going to have to make sure to wipe data factory reset. If you're flashing it from uh, one of the stock ROMs, then you should not have to wipe data or uh, do your factory reset. You should be able just to flash this over the top of the stock ROM. So let's go ahead and open up Droid 2 Bootstrapper. Uh, this is if you're on a gingerbread ROM already. If you're on a Froyo ROM, you need to just SBF uh, back to stock and there's a video in the channel that will show you how to do that. So go ahead and hit Bootstrap Recovery and click OK. Now you can get the new build uh, by clicking on the link in the description. Hit Reboot Recovery and I will have, uh, there's three versions. You have a Deodexed rooted version, you have a rooted and Odexed version, and then you have a totally stock version. Now P3 Droid said that the only version you'll be able to upgrade from is the totally stock version. Uh, but you can always flash that later on uh, for now, if you want to have root for the next couple of days, you can go ahead and flash the rooted version, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, but whenever you see this menu uh, to navigate through, you probably already know if you're on gingerbread. Up and down volume to select, you hit camera, and to go back, you hit the back button. I'm going to go down to wipe data factory reset because I'm on a stock ROM. If you're on just the regular stock build, uh, then you will not have to wipe data factory reset. But I'm on Apex, so I need to wipe my data, so I'll go ahead and do that. And go ahead and select that. And that's only going to take just a few seconds. And recently I've learned that it's best to go ahead and do that more than once, because it may miss a few things if you don't. And I'll go ahead and do it a third time. Wipe data, factory reset. Select yes. Okay, and now I'm going to go down here to advanced. And wipe Dalvik cache. And select yes. Okay, so now we're going to go back. And we're going to go down to install zip from SD card and we're going to go choose zip from SD card and you're going to find that file that you downloaded from the link it's either fully deodexed, odexed, or completely stock with no root. Um, the only difference between deodexed and odexed is you can apply things like the CRT animation uh, you can do uh, custom battery mod so you can have the percentage on your battery uh, you can do themes if you're deodexed. If you're odexed you can't do any of that stuff uh, so go ahead and choose the 595 whatever version 
you decided to download either Deodex, Odex, or Stock, go ahead and select that. Go down to Yes Install. Select that. Okay, this is going to run its course. It may take a few minutes. I um, guess we'll see what it does here. If it looks like it's taking a while, then I will pause. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay. So when the process is complete, you'll see this message at the bottom, install from SD card complete. And you'll go back and reboot system. Okay. You see I still have my old boot logo, of course. If, if you uh, want to get rid of all that and be totally stock, you'll need to go into stock recovery and the way you'll get there is by holding the home and power button at the same time and that'll bring up the Android guy with an exclamation point and at that point you will hit up and down arrow buttons at the same time to bring up the menu uh, once at the menu see I've, I'm back to my stock boot animation but once you bring up the menu you'll select wipe data factory reset and so that will be um, wiping everything and going totally back to out of the box state that will get rid of any fragments that you've left behind from other ROMs. In fact, that's what I'm about to do. Uh, so now you're prepared for the over-the-air update. And like I said, um, check back here uh, and I will let you know whenever that has been rooted. And I would not install that update until it has been rooted. Uh, for more information on ROMs, modifications, and hacks for the Droid X, Visit droidmoderx.wordpress.com and to keep updated, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.